Hello, I'm Scott Wilkins and this is my video for the Digital Media iTech 2110 Section 13 project. There are a few things I enjoy in life and I'm about to tell you about one of them. It's a hobby I picked up a good many years ago when I was but a young lad. More sort of like a lifestyle, if you will, which was playing the bagpipes. I wanted to learn, you know, and I did. I set my mind to it. And then I joined the Atlanta Pipe Band and the rest is history. You see, you don't always just start out playing the instrument flat out. With bagpipes, you had to start learning on this, which is called a chanter. And it's pretty much set up the same way a bagpipe is, with the fingering and all that. It's got the seven holes on the front, and the one on the back, and then just... You just blow into it and sound comes out. And now, the interesting, the interesting thing about bagpipes is that it's a double reed instrument. What is that, you ask? Well, I'm about to show you. Come take a closer look. You see, you take this apart right here in the middle. Gotta be careful, because there's a double reed on the inside. Take a look at that. See, that is what makes the noise come out of the back pipe. Is that double reed right there. And now to tell you a little bit about the bagpipe music. Now, as you can see here, we have various songs laid out for you to look at and as you're looking at it you may notice that wow there's a lot of notes and yes there are a lot of notes and those things are called grace notes which are really quick notes played at a very fast pace and they just you barely notice them they're just so fleeting but they make the song what it truly is. As you can see here there are many many songs and that is because the bagpipes have a very long and rich history up in Scotland. So much paper! Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about how the bagpipe actually works, which is a commonly asked question. But first, we're going to disassemble it. Now that our bagpipes are disassembled, we can go on and discuss how it works. Here is the breathing tube. And you put your lips on here, and the air goes down, and goes straight into the bag. And right here, it's got a little flap that prevents air from going back out of the breathing tube. And you see, you just slide that in there real nice. And there you go. The second thing I wanted to show you is the double reed in the bagpipe. And you'll notice that it's made out of wood, which is different because it was made out of plastic earlier. And uh, that it's more wider and it's a lot sturdier. And that's because it made a really loud, rich sound which is notorious with the Highland bagpipes. And you just slide that right on in, right there. And then another commonly asked question is, what the heck are these things? And what they are is called drones. And what you have here is a drone reed, which is in all three of these. It's the same thing in all three. And there's a bass drone, which is this really long one. And then you got two tenor drones, which you can see are a lot shorter and the reeds are different sizes these are these two are smaller than this one and basically that gives the bagpipe a little droning noise that that hum that comes with the bagpipes and you just put that right on in there and there you go and now you're ready to play